so we move into a new business plan for the foundation itself to become a facilitator, to continue to wear down the negative feedback loop and replace it with a more positive one, pushing the networks of connections that are necessary to drive this as an industry. In other words, we sort of visualize ourselves as a switchboard. Uh, we'll initially connect the investors and the philanthropists to academia. We will engage industry in that as results start to come in, and all the while we're reaching out to the public directly. And that's what brings me back to our basic research focus and to my comment about the core values of credibility and maturity. Our base funding allows core research that allows early outreach and some demonstration of feasibility, and that promotes a little more giving, which we're experiencing now, which makes possible more strategic partnerships, uh, more concrete results, the engagement of the government, and onward and onward, until the wheel begins to drive itself. Now, uh, remember, at this stage, it doesn't have to be a, about a robust mouse rejuvenation or a clinical profile for a life extension drug. We're just trying to build respect for a simple new paradigm, and it's one that I'm sure everyone in this audience, probably more than anywhere else in the world, already understands. And, that's if you turn all the complex diseases and disabilities of aging, all the hundreds of them on their side, you'll see they're all connected by a very few types of underlying damage. 